Last week, golf said farewell to a player who's arguably done more to change her sport than anyone in history. Seri Pak is a hero to millions of Koreans, so it was fitting that her final tournament was in front of her adoring home fans. Golfing World was there as she holed the final putt of an extraordinary LPGA career. I'm very happy. I mean, it was still it doesn't really hit me yet because I'm still wearing golf clothes, but uh, it's feel more free now. I definitely feel a lot more free than my mind. But I finished 18 holes and and I'm standing outside of the huge fan and they're standing for me, um, giving still a lot of supporting love. I can see that and. That's amazing. That's probably the most best timing in all my career, I think. That's really lovely and so special. In 1998, Seri was an unknown rookie on the LPGA Tour, but that didn't last long. Her first win that season was a major, the McDonald's LPGA Championship. And six weeks later, she prevailed in a marathon playoff at the US Open, watched by a staggering 67% of the Korean TV audience. At the time when she won US Women's Open, golf wasn't a main sport in Korea. Uh, none of us really knew what golf was other than that there was a Korean player, or say Korean national, who was just winning tournaments. Uh, so at the time, it was an introduction of game to a lot of people in Korea. When I first started to play golf, I had no idea what golf is, but she won US Miss Open. Then, you know, after that, just like, oh my God, this was a really cool sport. So I was like, like I, I was already falling in love, but I always feel like, wow, this is a special sport. Seiri told people that something else was possible. I've said this many times that you actually have kind of record breakers. Somebody runs less than a four minute mile and everyone thinks they can run less than a four minute mile. Somebody comes to America and wins the US Open from Korea, and six, seven, eight-year-old girls were sitting at home going, Daddy, I want to do that. She was represented to us as the epitome of success on the global stage, and that just got the whole movement going. You know, at the time, you go to any golf courses or any driving ranges, you see nothing but young girls just stacked up to play golf, and everybody would tell you, I want to be Seri Pak. As the victories piled up and Seri continued to rewrite history, she inspired what we see today on the LPGA Tour. This year, Asia hosted eight LPGA events, and of the 34 current LPGA members from Korea, no fewer than 27 are tournament winners. I always celebrate the fact that if you look at the top five women on the Rolex uh, world rankings, they come from five different countries. But if you went a little deeper, if you went to the top 20, you'd find 10 of the top 20 come from Korea. Um, I think everybody would admit that that was started by Seiri and led by Seiri. She's changed the face of women's golf. If Sari didn't play the LPGA and if she didn't, you know, couldn't win any tournament in the LPGA, maybe a lot of Korean people said, oh, maybe that, you know, the LPGA is too tough for us. Let's just stick with KLPGA Tour. But, you know, she did, um, you know, so many great achievements. And after that, like, wow, Sari opened the door for us. We should do that. We should dream about the, you know, even bigger, bigger dreams. With her own playing career now officially over, Seri plans to continue what she's done for most of the last decade in nurturing the next generation of young Korean stars, offering advice and counsel on how to adjust to life on the ultra-competitive LPGA Tour and how to succeed there as well. This is my almost 10 years being on the tour, but still she look after all of the girls and um, play well or not, no matter what, she's a role model. So when we stuck anything about the golf, we go walk close to the Seri and then ask, and then she can help anytime, anywhere. Everyone think I'm a golfer. Yes, I was a golfer, but as I'm thinking more an athlete. Athlete needs some more really good care. Everybody has to be like their own program to fit their, fitting their own body feel, which is, I'm trying to put it all together trying to take care of themselves, how to, you know, making schedule, how to eat. I mean, it's not easy to do that because we don't have any of that kind of program yet. I think she's realizing that giving young athletes a better path, a better experience, a better environment to hone their skills is something she can have a huge impact on. Exactly how that's going to happen, I don't know and I'm not sure she knows, but uh, where that plays out is only going to be great for me and for the women's game. Just following the dream what we really you want to be. But before you move on, 
You have to decide exactly what you want to be. That's as best I can give you advice because I know what I want to be. I make my dream a following the dream, and I'm here. This year, Seri was captain of the South Korean women's Olympic golf team and helped Inby Park overcome a difficult 2016 season to take the gold medal in Rio. Inby has such a hard, hard timing all year because she got injured, she didn't play well. She had a lot of pressure. People talk about a whole other thing. I mean, I know exactly how she felt. Though. That's why I was emotional. It's such a great experience, but we have such a great time and that's an amazing moment another my career. And what a sensational career it's been. 39 wins worldwide, 25 on the LPGA Tour, including five majors, and a deserved place in the World Golf Hall of Fame. She goes with fond wishes from everyone in the women's game and a whole stack of happy memories. I think I miss all the LPGA though. All staff, all players, all the fans. Annika was there, Cardi was there, Julie was there. So they makes me stronger, built me as now I am. So I had a lot of learning, grow. Just I'm making I miss everything, everything.